What is up everyone welcome back to the channel i'm socal shaolin today i'm gonna be hunting at the kobe swap meet the biggest swap meet here in san diego i actually have some friends setting up selling some toys so i'm gonna hit them up uh, one of my boys vince he had some stuff that he set aside for me so i'm gonna pick that stuff up and i'm also gonna look around and see what else he's selling at the booth my mother friend mario is also selling and we're gonna do a couple of laps around the swap meet before I take off. So hopefully we can find something else to take home for the collection. But let's uh, get this hunt started. And get out of the sun. And we made it to the Kobe swap meet. We're pretty early. A lot of people are still setting up. We're looking for my friend's booths. We're gonna hit them up first. They're somewhere down this aisle, all the way down to the end. As you can see here, lots of vintage clothing sports jerseys and whatnot it's like a video game booth there hopefully we can find some uh, stuff i like these boots right here because you never know what you're gonna find here on these tables old-fashioned almonds tin that's pretty neat a bunch of vintage pots and pans but they're still taking out stuff a lot of Christmas decorations right here here's a vintage board game right there Daytona 500 On looking, it's a vintage football handheld game. Some Hot Wheels, Marvel soda from '83. I got some, just a whole bunch of toys, some Disney stuff. There's Annie, Annie. These are cool. Jack, Jack in the Box. Just some random stuff. Here's a Joe Montana starting lineup. One of these belong to this kid, Nick. Sorry, Nick, your toys are being sold at the swap meet. There's a cool Mickey. Another Annie. Oh, this tin is awesome. Breakaway. It's like a trash can. Popcorn. It's a popcorn tin with the hoop. All right, I'm here at my friend's booths, Vince and Mario. They got three. They got three booths here. They're gonna be selling. Vince has all the vintage stuff. You remember the video where we went to his house and we're picking through in his living room all the bins. So he has a lot of vintage. Let's see, look. Oh yeah, Care Bears. Might have to pick up some uh, Care Bears from a wife. Yeah. I haven't even got one, bro. There's a shadow car. It's dope. Castle Grayskull vintage. Look at all this modern stuff. He has it all, guys. So what you guys dying? Got some Mighty Max. Got some uh, big Star Wars figures, 3PL. Some vehicles here. Masters vehicles. Nice. Here are all the masters of the universe. A lot of good stuff. <coughs> Look at all these masters for, for good prices. Good prices. We even got Mark from Mark's Vintage Toy Shop in here. We got here. We got some uh, Ghostbusters. Good mix of everything. Some Care Bears. I might have to pick up some Care Bears for sure. We 
got some Bucky O'Hare, some of the boss fight ones. It's just a random bin of turtle figures. Some wrestlers. We got here a small soldier's tin lunchbox. This is cool. Commando Elite. This is pretty cool. Space case. We even got comics over here. Mark, there's some He Man books. He wants too much time now, dude. Alright. Hey, Mark, you don't want a mine head? See this shit? Damn. Oh, heavy as shit. What's that made out of limestone? It's fucking, it's heavy, dog. <laughs> Got an 18 lunchbox. We got dinosaurs for you Jurassic Park fans. I don't know if there's anything good in here. You can see they have lots of stuff here at the Kobe swap meet. There's a little more modern stuff right there. Classifieds. We got sports cards. All right, here we got a booth with a whole bunch of CDs. Blu-rays, lots of Blu-rays and books. You never know what you're gonna find in the book section. Also, there's a lot of books go for a lot of money. A lot of out of print stuff. Yeah, so I just left my friend's booth, you know, Mario and Vince. They had a lot of people selling at their booth, as you saw. A lot of good vintage and modern stuff for great prices. I got my haul here, I'll show you guys later on. Keep on looking before we head on out. Let's see what people are selling. You never know what you're gonna find at the swap meet. Got some cool like antiques over here. Got some archery stuff, bow and arrows. You want to go Rambo? Get it all here, man. That's some hardcore stuff as well. Some shoes, some wrestling figures. It's a Harley bike bag right there. That's cool. This guy has some giant. Pikachu plushies. Let's see, we got a bunch of clothing here. I used to sell vintage clothing back in the days. There's a Lisa Simpson plush. That's like a vintage one too from the 90s. A bunch of random toys, video games. Some cool uh, vintage books here. So these are the books that come with the, the record. Robin Hood, yeah, Frosty. It's cool, you have some uh, Christmas stuff here. Cinderella. Three little pigs. Oh, that's a good one. The Hobbit. Rankin Bass. Yeah, that lady had some good books, but she wanted fifteen dollars a piece for those little books with the records. The Hobbit one was cool, and she also had that Brer Rabbit and Tar Baby, which is a kind of hard one to find. But nah, for fifteen dollars a piece, there's nah, pass on them.
this table had a whole bunch of Wizard of Oz collectibles. You can see here you got these toddler dolls. Kind of weird looking, but I mean they're minty fresh in the box. And it looks like they had just like everybody, the, all the main characters. There was even a lunchbox, Wizard of Oz lunchbox that I saw here in the back. You can see it right there. This right here was a little Sesame Street Tycho set from the mid 90s. Definitely awesome and I'll probably be inquiring about that one and taking it home. But you can see here that there was even some ruby slippers from Wizard of Oz. And then this table just has a whole bunch of mixed toys, which is what you usually see at flea markets. Just a whole bunch of stuff thrown in on the table. Lakers, of course, is the team down here in Southern California. Got some roller skates and this awesome Ultimate Warrior suitcase was amazing. Uh, they were asking 60 bucks for it. A little bit more than I wanted to pay for that thing, but it was cool to see here at the Kobe Swap Meet, and I'll definitely be returning in 2024 more often than I did in 2023. Uh, so look out for those videos next year at the Swap Meet. What is up, toy community? I was recently interviewed by San Diego Voyager Magazine. This is the article right here with my interview. I will have the link to that interview in the description below. So click on it, go read it. Let me know what you guys think. I wanna thank you all for your continued support of the SoCal Shaolin YouTube channel. Thank you all. Welcome back to the Kid Video Christmas Special. That was the Kobe Swap Meet, the biggest Swap Meet here in San Diego. The Swap Meet has definitely like become more well known like the, the last two years, mainly because they're throwing these sneaker events, vintage clothing events, and they're drawing in these big YouTubers who do buying and selling of sneakers and vintage clothing. So they're coming in and it's definitely drawing a lot of attention to the Kobe Swap Meet. So it's kind of become more well known uh, in the US, especially like on YouTube. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and it's uh, definitely not like it used to be, especially like I said, it's drawing all these people. So you still have vendors that sell stuff for cheap, but a lot of them do know what they have. Uh, but I was there today mainly because I have some friends were selling, they were setting up as you saw in the video, um, my boys Vince, Mario, they're selling toys, a lot of vintage. Uh, Vince was selling, Mario was selling uh, some mix, some modern stuff, a little bit of 90s Star Wars stuff I saw as well. But Vince had some stuff set aside for me that I was going to pick up. And of course, when I'm there, I'm going to be browsing around. I brought my vintage He-Man duffel bag to fill up as I went around the swap me trying to find stuff so it's pretty cool you got hordak and skeletor and he-man fighting and then you got that cool big logo here on the side so i'm gonna get to some pickups here and the only pickup that i got that wasn't from vince's booth was this one right here picked this up for the little one the seven month uh boy this is the sesame street vehicle playset from tyco I picked this up for $5. I got one at 10, so we settled at five. And uh, he let me have it. It was really cool. Of course, he ain't gonna get this yet till he's a little bit older. But it's a cool little uh, place that kind of reminds me of like the little people, all those uh, little play sets. So it's very cool. There's other things here in the line, but it's awesome that it was brand new in the box. And uh, yeah, I think he's gonna have fun. I might have to try to find all these and make the whole little village for him, right? The whole place at scenes. So it was pretty cool. I was happy to pick this guy up for my son, the little one. He'll get this sometime in the future. Fireplaces glowing, bicycles growing, hearts overflowing with cheer. 
It's that wonderful season we all find some reason The Toys R Us time of year The world's biggest toy stores, Toys R Us The biggest selection, Toys R Us It's the Toys R Us time of year And the rest of the stuff I got all from Vince, from his booth. He had a lot of cool stuff in little bins. And uh, one of the things I picked up, this is all like gifts for my wife. She collects too. She hasn't really been buying too much lately. Uh, but I got her some stuff for Christmas because this stuff is going to be for Christmas. And depending on when you're watching this video, she probably got this stuff already. Uh, but here I got a bag of Care Bears. A lot of the Care Bear Cousins which is awesome definitely picked up a whole bunch of them she didn't have any of these so these are probably going to be i don't think stocking stuffers but i'll definitely uh maybe put them in a box or something but in great condition too might need a little scrub but nothing too crazy here's another one i don't even know what this is called it's a guy chant bear maybe here's the elephant these uh, caribou cousins are the hard ones to come across. The penguin, you don't see these all too often. So I got her a whole bunch. And then the lion, he's like the leader of the cousins. Tender Heart is his name. I'm not sure. But these are cool. Cool addition to her Care Bears collection. Uh, thanks to Vince because he definitely hooked it up big time. I uh, can't thank him enough. Actually, everything that I got here from here, he like, it's beyond bro prices, guys. It's it's cool, man. I'm uh, grateful to have a cool friend like him. Uh, let me show you what else I got for him. So those Care Bears are going to my wife. Spend your holidays with USA and a special double feature of your favorite cartoon characters. First, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. He-Man and She-Ra, a Christmas special. Then, a holiday classic return. God bless us, everyone. Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. Bah humbug! Well, I think you're feeling the Christmas spirit. He-Man and She-Ra, a Christmas special. And Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, a USA special presentation. Christmas Day at 5, 4 Central. Like I said, all the pickups here are for her for Christmas. And she's a big collector of She-Ra. She pretty much has all the She-Ra. She makes maybe like two of the like really super rare ones. They go for like a thousand bucks or something. So we jumped, she jumped on the Golden Girl uh, train and it's actually a really cool line. So she's picking those up. But I picked these up from Vince to add to her collection, sealed. We got Onyx and Jade in the package. So very cool. And you got the Toys R Us logo there. Always cool to see the Toys R Us logo. So man, these are awesome to have. Uh, the only thing, whoever had these before somehow did a crazy job and cut out like the layer where the cards was. Card was, what is that? I don't even know what that was right here. One of them is the fan club and the other one was maybe like some points or something. But very cool. Golden Girls. If you don't know about Golden Girls and you're a fan of She-Ra, you need to get on the Golden Girl bandwagon because eventually these... Are probably gonna go up I'm, I'm assuming once people get uh, more knowledgeable about Golden Girl they're really cool like it's a good companion to the She-Ra set and uh, I think their Palace of Gems playset is freaking awesome way better than the Crystal Palace of the She-Ra but yeah cool to add these to her collection and then you can't have Golden Girl dolls all having a place to put them Especially if you have loose ones, which she does. Uh, so, to remedy that, I got the Golden Girl collector case as well. So, very cool artwork here. You got the Golden Girl with her horse, which is also a, a figure she has. It's very cool. Uh, but, yeah, it's a cool carrying case. It's an official case for Golden Girl. I think Galoo made, made these. Yeah, Galoo, 1985. But it's a very cool case. I like collector cases. They always got some cool artwork. And uh, yeah, it'll be a cool little display piece uh, to add to her collection.
Quick interruption, while I was editing this video, I forgot that I also picked up this space case from my buddy Vince. Totally forgot, this is an awesome pickup. Definitely love that artwork, crazy uh, old school sci-fi right there. This is definitely just gonna be a display piece, you know, somewhere up on the shelf. So pretty cool, glad to have this one to the collection. I've been eyeing this one at a few conventions before in the past, so glad to have this one to the collection. And the last pickup was for me uh, from Vince. He recently came across a sealed box of these vehicles from the mass toy line. This is Bullet and uh, he was gracious enough to sell me one at an incredible price. Like, it's amazing. I wanna thank him again, man. This thing is awesome. Brand new sealed. This thing just, it came out of a shipper box. It's crazy that something like this is still around. In 2023, like almost 40 years later. So this is crazy. So very cool. I'm recently got into mass and I'm slowly picking up pieces here and there. Mostly loose. So this is the first one that's actually sealed. I'm not really looking for sealed, looking for loose because you know they're cheaper and I could display them. But man, like it was even cheaper than loose. And uh I don't know if I'm gonna open this guys. You know, I said it before with these kind of uh sealed toys, you can always open them, take them out. And the box is still, like, cool. It's displayed, you know? You can still display it. Something like this, if you take it out, then you're just going to have an empty box, window box. Uh, but it's cool that these these are cool displayed. But with something like this, you don't know what to, what's inside. You can open it and still seal it, uh, close the lid, and it still looks like a cool display piece. But, yeah, very cool to add this to the mask collection. Bullet, brand new crazy the condition of this thing uh but happy to have this to collection man wednesday two best love christmas classics isn't there anyone who knows what christmas is all about the peanuts gang searching for the true holiday spirit on a charlie brown christmas You're then is peanuts. santa's day up for grabs i must stop christmas how the grinch stole oh, christmas wednesday that's gonna do it for today's toy hunting video at the Kobe swap meet in San Diego. Merry Christmas to everybody. This video, it's either coming out around Christmas or Christmas has passed, uh, whenever you're watching this. So hope you all had a great Christmas. Hope you all got all the gifts you wanted. I love giving gifts to the family. So I always tell them, don't give me anything because I buy whatever. I'm hard to shop for, especially with, uh, they try to give me all this vintage stuff because uh, they, they don't really know what to look for. It's kind of hard, right? Yeah, but yeah, those are the gifts I got for my wife. Not, those are just the toy gifts, you know? I didn't just give her that. I got her actual stuff that she would like, you know? Uh, more practical things. <laughs> uh, but thanks again, everybody, for watching. Hope you all have a great holiday, and we'll see you in 2024. I don't know when the next video is dropping. Uh, might take some time off for Christmas, New Year's. I don't know. Just stay tuned to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at SoCal Shiloh, uh, for more. Uh, as you can see what I'm doing in between videos uh, and more uh, up to date on uh, what's going on with the channel. But thanks again, everybody, for watching. Thank you for all the support all year long. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Definitely go back and watch all the past videos that you haven't seen. Uh, you'll find something there that you'll like. A lot of cool uh, places I visited and uh, cool pickups along the way. Uh, but don't forget to drop those comments down below. I like hearing from all of you, and I get back to each and every one of you. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I am out.